Hello guys, so today I am doing something a little different. I'm using XSplit so I can use my webcam, which is a lot better, but the sound is not as good. So if you cannot hear me, please let me know. I will be watching, checking out the chat to see if I can hear anything. <laughs> so please let me know if you can't hear me or whatever is going on there. All right, so today I wanted to talk about basically safety first, right? So that being just basically this, okay? And when you go out here and you're traveling around, it's always good to keep your eyes and ears open with what's going on around you, right? So like I said, Oh good, I'm glad. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> I wasn't sure. So, what? one of the most important things... So I'll just start with the story, because I said this was a story time, so I'll start with that. So basically, we're in... I think it's Savannah on their river walk. That's one of the first times we were in Georgia. And we're walking along, and so we look like tourists, right? We've got cameras out. We're just pointing like, oh, yeah, that's so cool over there and all this other stuff. Hey, look at that. And I noticed this guy kind of behind and to, the, I think, the right of me. And at first I wasn't too concerned with him because he just sort of seemed to be standing there watching us. And I was thinking, you know, well, it's probably not too bad. You know, he's how do I know he's not just like a people watcher like me? He doesn't mean any harm. He's just watching a couple tourists in his town. So I didn't think anything about it at first. So I thought, well, I'll keep my eyes open just in case. So I did, and we're walking along. We get to this, there's this covered area where it's like restaurants and shops and a bar, and it's all part, actually, of this um, hotel. And I look behind us, and he is behind us, like trying to hide behind some trees, but he's watching us. So at this point, I realize, okay, this guy is following us. I don't know why he's following us. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what the point is. And yes, Soul Patch is joining me this time. <laughs> I don't know what the, you know, I don't know what his inten intentions are. So I thought, okay, I, we need to get out from this sort of dark area. So we move out from there, and we, we're sitting at this little um, fountain area. And he comes up and sits, like not next to us, but like in front of us, in, um, ahead of us. And I'm like, oh no, 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 I'm not playing this game. So we, instead of going forward, we just ducked into a, a shop and waited. And um, I was like, if he comes in here with us, I'm going to start making noise because I didn't have anything like on me. So I was like, if he comes in here with us, I'm going to start making some noise because that guy has followed us pretty much since we started walking down this river walk and that's not good guys that's not normal somebody should not be following you at that kind of distance level so it was a little scary for me just because it's like okay so this guy is following us I don't know what he wants I don't know what his intentions are for all I know he's an undercover cop you know I don't know <laughs> I have no idea so it was a little scary, but we, but because, you know, we kept our eyes and ears open, because we weren't just like, ooh, ah, let's just look around and not, not worry about it, we were, we were safe. And I also attribute that to God, too, because something, a little something told me, hey, be sure and look around. Hey, be sure and look around. So I did. And that's how that went. So when you're, I, I watch these, these people online as well where they're, they, they RV full time or they're doing a very long road trip where they're going cross country. And they say the same thing. They say, you know, you need to keep your eyes open. You need to pay attention to what's going on around you because you just never know what's going to happen. You never know who you're going to run into. So... My dad always told me that if you're going to travel, you need to do it armed <laughs> and with a trusted with trusted people if you can. And to always 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 just take a second and look around, find out what's going on. So that's just what I wanted to kind of talk about today guys is that you can be having the time of your life and there are people out there who want to 
take that time from you basically they're they're not go they're not there to be your friend and to help you out they're there to make your life miserable <laughs> basically and i don't know like i said this guy may not have been there for that purpose but since i don't know i'm not going to take the chance so we did what we had to do to make sure we stayed safe so in that in that instance you know that's just sort of all I really wanted to talk about was that is that this guy was following us and we had no idea why he was following us and all this stuff so uh, do you guys I, I've started carrying a pocket knife more and more just cause you know it just it just makes me feel like hey I got something going on here <laughs> and would help us out or whatever but um yeah that's all I really wanted to talk about. That was my little story. You know, things like this happen all the time. Um, I'm trying to think of another one. So basically, guys, my advice is when you're going out there, you really need to keep your eyes and ears open. You really need to to say, you know, okay, I'm going to go out here and have fun, but I'm also going to be smart about it. And I'm also going to notice what's going on. You know, if you have a situation where you you've taken that moment and you said okay, I'm gonna take a moment I'm just gonna look around and you start to say you know I'm not feeling too great about this uh, that guy looks weird that girl looks weird because I've had that too where it was a lady and she just looked like she was either just not having a good day or whatever but she did not look stable <laughs> so we turned around and went the other way but um, you know that's the thing is you have to be you have to be watchful so you can always come back to these places. You don't have to stay here and this be the only time. It's not worth getting hurt. It's not worth your life. Just turn around, go do something else, go be somewhere else. You know, that kind of thing. For example, I had no idea this was going on at the time, but today I went to the mall. And apparently there was a shootout at the mall. And that's why the cops were all over the place. And as soon as I saw cops, I was like, what's going on? Because cops do not just congregate typically in an area without a purpose, right? So use your common sense too. You just never know what's going on out there, guys. There are crazy people. And there's not everybody. Not everybody out there is out there to have a good time and help you out and help each other out like, like you and I would be, you know? Somebody else that that would see that would say, you know, oh, God, you know, I almost got shot. <laughs> Maybe. You don't know. You don't know. I'm just like, I'm loving this travel stuff, but you really have to use your common sense. You have to say, okay, so maybe I won't go here right now. Maybe I'll come back, you know. So I'm going to read some of the comments here right quick. David said, get it concealed and call it a day. Yes, David, that is my, that's my goal. I do want to get concealed carry. The, the, each state has a different, has like different laws about that though. So I'm trying to educate myself a little bit. Chris, that's why I'm getting a gun. And Holly too, she just doesn't know yet. <laughs> it's a good idea, Chris. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, a, I am pro second amendment. I am NRA all the way. So I would just, just do it. Let's see, Amy, that's great insight. I got my daughter listening to. She's four now and never can be too safe. That's true, Amy, you never can be. Uh, my dad always told me, just pause and look. Just look around. You may look like a freak, but it would keep you safe. And w what's, what's more important, being safe or looking like a freak? And, you know, being safe, that's more important, you know? <laughs> people, people may not um, understand it, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. When it comes down to your personal safety, the safety of your family, the safety of your loved ones, be a freak. You know, just just be a freak. It doesn't matter. Let's see. Another one from Chris. What's Chris saying? Mr. David went there and at the same time to get a cake. Sadly, we didn't get a cake. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> no cake for Chris. Chris, that just means you have to go with Holly and go get some cake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I said, don't be afraid to go places guys but just be aware open your eyes don't don't say things don't don't act like you know this place is oh it's super safe just because it's it's well built or whatever it's built up and nobody's gonna hurt us here no you can get hurt anywhere everywhere it doesn't even matter like I said this guy this guy followed us for a good bit of time he he was not like 
at a certain point he wasn't even like I said because he went ahead of us and sat down to watch us so so at one point he decided well I can be bold at that point I'm thinking no <laughs> no I am not doing this today so that's all I want to talk about guys sorry this one is kinda short it's only like 10 minutes but if you guys have anything you would like to add just let me know drop it down in the comments and we can talk about it like Amy said never can be too safe you never can be just be as safe as you can look around just take a minute you know it's the same thing with uh, like if you're camping I have decided that I think it'd be a good idea for us to maybe try a cargo trailer uh, conversion well you have to put you know windows in that you, you have to do everything basically by yourself and that's fine that's what that's really what we want so we can get what we want but at the same time with that kind of thing people look at that and go oh I can take that easy or um, oh I can lock these people in you know stuff like that a tiny house yes Chris a tiny house <laughs> I love those I love the um, I love the mobility basically it's not you don't get um, a, like a super a lot of space but for what I want to do I don't want a lot of stuff I don't I want to be able to travel I want to be able to go where I want to go stuff is not my thing so if I could get rid of all the stuff I have now and just sell it off and buy my cargo trailer and just leave for most of the time I would <laughs> so there's that <laughs> my brother said hi <laughs> so that that's just my thing though like I don't I don't want a bunch of stuff I want experiences I want to see things I want to say you know oh yeah I've been there I've seen that you know it really changes you whenever you can get out and see something I don't know about you guys but I get cabin fever really quickly really quickly so I have to I have to manage manage my time inside a home <laughs> I can't think of what else there was something else I was gonna say and I forgot it so I think I would just leave that here guys and it was nice to see all of you yes Chris we do need to plan a camping trip I would love that so it was nice to talk to all you guys we will be back next week with I'm not sure if it's gonna be story time again or what it's gonna be I have an idea in my head it's gonna be more like why you should care about the laws and how that applies to travel but until next time guys I will see you later maybe I can do this <laughs> let's see let's see do I know how to use this maybe I do Maybe I don't. Okay. Bye. You're right.